Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Um, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Hello, Excelers. Welcome to my next video. Today, we're going to look at how to fine tune conditional formatting if you're using a data bar. So sometimes when you insert data bars to conditionally format cells, it can obscure the cell values or it can sit on top of your cells, this data range here. And what we can do is we can manually adjust the conditional formatting to look a little bit better just by changing the minimum and maximum value at which Excel will apply the conditional formatting. So let's go back to basics and apply some conditional formatting uh, data bars to our sales figures here on the left hand side. So select your range of cells styles group, conditional formatting, data bars, and I'll select solid fill. So this is the default setting. So the formatting sitting right over the cell value. So let's copy the formatting to this range. But this time what we're going to do is select one of the cells, go back to conditional formatting and manage rules. So this is our rule that we're using. If we click edit rule and if we go down to edit the rule description we can see that Excel is automatically using a minimum and maximum value. Now if we change that to number and say that we want the minimum value to format is zero and the highest number let's set that at 70,000 hit OK and hit apply the visual is slightly different, maybe a little bit more representative of your progress. So that's how to manually adjust your conditional formatting if you're using data bars. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. It really does help the channel. And if you want to hit the notification bell, you'll get informed when I upload a new Excel video. Thanks for watching.